The world's biggest auction house, Christie's, have been holding their first ever auction this week in Mumbai. Under the hammer will be rare works of most of the major heavyweights of Indian art, including pre-independence artists such as Amrita Shergill and Rabindranath Tagore, the progressive artists, Nasreen Mohammadi, and also a painting from the Manisha Sur series by Taya Mehta, the first Indian painting to break the $1 million mark. A first-time auction at a time that's a little depressing, if I could say that, uh, for the market. Why do you think is this good timing for you? Well, it's almost why did we wait so long? Um, Christie's has been in business for almost 250 years. We sold Indian art at Christie's as early as the 1760s. We've been in India with um, wonderful team members of Christie's and representative offices since 1994. So now we're here, finally, one would say, with a proper auction of wonderful Indian art in Mumbai. And I hope to be here for another 100 years of ever-expanding Christie's. So from that 100-year perspective, I would think that a small dip in uh, economic terms is, is just a blip on the radar. Now, China makes up about 25% of global art sales, if I'm not mistaken. You did your first auction in China very recently, yes. and uh, you had Chinese collectors buying not just Chinese art, but also uh, Raphael, Michelangelo, Monet, Picasso, and so on. Yes. But you've taken the decision to come to India only with Indian art. Why is that? That's the theme of our curation for this moment. Um, it's not going to be the way it is each time. So, you know, in the auction business, the actual activity and the theater of the moment is important to curate properly, to attract attention and to bring as many people into the sale as possible. Experts here um, on our team know so well 20th century Indian art. And we also wanted to showcase 20th century Indian art to the world. We thought that would be our theme um, this week.